So I'm going to go live in a minute. I'm just preparing. Unmute myself. And I want to change the picture because I'm going to talk about my... Um, my house, my mother's house. So I'm going now into pictures, uh, Bubby, Bubby house, front. And okay, so that's, all right, that's, that's uh, good. Now um, I'm going to go live. So do I have the Facebook Live option when I'm here like this? Live on Facebook, yes. Okay, so as soon as it turns 10 o'clock, I'll go live on Facebook. And the question will be whether I do the slideshows or... Anyhow, okay, that's, that's it. I'm... Mm. This is fairly spontaneous. I'm really not... I realize I'm probably better at the... Oh, okay, it's 10 o'clock, I'm going live. Then we'll talk to everybody, okay? So, the more, and live on Facebook. Uh, for the Zoom meeting. Uh, Lily's personal meeting room, yes. And it's um, learning by doing. Good. Choose where to post on um, my. Is, have I got a page called Learning by Doing? No, I think the, the it's a group. No, the group is Learning by Doing. So which group is it going to go to? Video a uh, select group video testing platform. Okay, that's n nothing else there. Okay, then ah, then I'll just go live on my on my timeline or is there a page called learning by doing no also not good all right so i've got to go live to my timeline and we shall see this public or friends or anime no we'll go public okay good go live <laughs> now i don't see anything it's preparing the live stream and i don't know when i don't know whether i'll see when i'm live this is so fascinating, this learning by doing, redirecting to Facebook Live. Okay. All right. So, I am, I this am. So fascinating. This okay. It was already going live. I didn't even know I was on live. So, I am, I am. So fascinating. Oh, good. So, I've got to turn my sound off. Live. I didn't even know I was. All right. So, I'm looking at what's on Facebook and not on Okay, got it. All right. Okay. So, let me explain. This is my weekly live on Friday mornings at 10 o'clock. I've committed myself to be visible, to go live on Facebook. And I've set up a group on Facebook called Learning by doing so if you're watching this maybe you're my friend on facebook and my idea is that i have this group called learning by doing and all of my group members meet me here on friday morning and together we can learn something while I'm doing it, right? So I'm learning it and I can teach you as well. So right now, I've gone into my Zoom account. I've set up a meeting. I changed my background. I'll tell you about that. And I've gone into Facebook Live. I'm just setting up a timer because I don't really want to go overboard with time. See if I can see how short I can make this. So I've got this Facebook group and it's 
all about learning by doing. And the idea is that we can encourage one another, that we can learn together. So what I wanted to actually talk about today was memories, morning. Let me go through this slideshow. I'm going to, okay, I better make the slideshow, open the slideshow first. And then, okay, so this is right. So I'm going to go into picture tools, slideshow. I thought, no, that covers my zoom up. Don't want that. So that's not going to work. All right, then I'll go into just the picture itself. And then I'll go into share screen. And so I don't know if you can actually figure out what I'm doing here. I'm going to share the screen. And it's screen number two. And I've just clicked screen, share sound just in case I can share anything there. And now. I've got this picture of the house that my father built. I don't know. Okay, I can probably make it large by scrolling in. Okay, now I need to raise the, the zoom. So this is my mother, my brother and me. And this is the house that my dad built. And okay, I've got to make it smaller again to be able to go to the next picture. Okay, so I wanted to do the slideshow, so zooming in and out doesn't help with the slideshow. This is again my mother, my brother Ron, and me. This is the house next door, and this is the house that my dad built. In the front of the house, we always took our photos. This is a family that my mother met when she was in hospital, when my brother Ron was born, and Kat and Wally Underhill had children at the same time. So when Ron was born, Therese Underhill was born one day later. Ron was born on the 31st of May, 1952, and Therese was born on the 1st of June. And I was born two years later on the 27th of June. And I think his name was John Underhill, was born shortly after that. And then my brother Gary was born in 1957 on the 3rd of February. And Kat Underhill also had Rosina. And Rosina was born at home and was technically blind. They, I think they forgot to, they didn't get the... Um, the silver oxide drops into her eyes soon enough. And she, when we visited her in later years, at this time she was okay and we didn't know what was wrong. But um, eventually when we were visiting them at home, she had a braille typing machine and she was going to blind school, but she actually also died fairly early as far as I remember. And then, okay, so that they've got John, Therese, John, Rosina, and I think her name was Therese, the youngest one. And my mum had the next child, my brother Eric was born in 1962. So that was a bit of a longer break after my brother Gary. So here we are again, that's Ron, that's John, that's Gary, that's Therese, that's me, that's Rosina. And, um, oh, okay, her name was Therese. So. Esther was the youngest one. Yeah, isn't it fascinating how things come back to your memory? And this is the front door of our house. It was number 36 Holt Street. My mother, me, and Gary, must be winter time, look at the coat. And we used to keep our house key, the door, the front door, in the electric box here, so that if somebody came home when my mother was out, we could find our way in. There was only the one front door key. Maybe my dad had another one. I don't know. But usually when dad went to work and came home, mum was already home when mum, when dad came home from work. This light switch for the lamp was built later. I 
remember the various phases as the house was being built. Okay, this is already going over five minutes, so I wanted to make a choice. It's my Facebook Live, right? So if I spend half an hour on this, is it okay? Maybe you won't be interested. So I'm thinking about what I'm planning to do is actually, let me just finish the slide. This is another family. So my idea was to go through these pictures of the house. You know why? Because this house is being sold. And my mother died in August last year in 2021 and I visited her in 2018 for her 90th birthday and this house that dad built I was so attached to it because it's my home in Australia and I don't have anywhere else and since I left home I, I could almost say I've been a bit of a nomad I haven't managed to provide a fixed address where my kids can stay with me. This is how the front door looked later on. They put glass tiles in here and a fly screen here. And now this is the box where we keep the, or is it this one? One of them is the alarm and one is the, I think you've got to put a code number in here. And if you know the code number, I think it might be our phone number, something like that. Then you can open the box and get the key to the front door. And mum's a bit hard of hearing. Mum was a bit hard of hearing and sometimes people had to come and visit her and she didn't know what was going on. This is the garage which is being brought forward. It used to be a bit further back. And this is a view of the whole house. And this we used to call the rockery. They put rocks here. You know, this is a volcanic plain. There's, there was lots of rocks in the property and so dad used to collect and actually at the back of the property they used to put the rocks along the borders of the property to mark the fencing area, the, the border of the property and they used to put stacks of rocks along the edges of the, of the property and then later on put the wooden boards. But we had rocks here in the front and my mum planted around it and this was also another rockery and that's the number 36 on the house and this tree now I don't know which tree that is we used to have a willow tree and uh, you can see how big that was and we had an oak tree there after I left home we had when I was growing up we had a willow tree there so I've got photos of growing up and I'm planning to make an album and the whole point of this is, this is the house, this is the photo that the real estate agent made. It's going on to the market on the 30th of April, 2022. And it's being sold because nobody can afford to pay everybody else out. My parents decided that they would split the inheritance amongst us five kids. I've got four brothers. They're all living in Australia. I'm living here in Austria. And, you know, I'm attached to that house. I'm mourning my mother. Yesterday I was at a funeral of the son of a friend of mine. And I know how hard it is to mourn when you've lost somebody dear to you. But I'm at the stage now where I can mourn my mother. And going over these pictures of the house, my idea is every day this month, to collect my thoughts and do a, a short reflection about the house. So here you can see into the bedroom, my parents' bedroom. This was our living room. And I'll take you on a short walk through the house, the photos that the real estate agent made. And my plan was to go over the historic photos I have with stories related to the house. And I'm thinking of telling the story from the point of view of the house. So I've just named the house Holly. This is Holly the house on Holt Street. 36 Holt Street was the address of our house. And Holly is feeling a little bit sad and empty because there's nobody living there anymore. And that's the story. I want to tell you the story of Holly. We've never named our houses, but I've just named it because, you know, it will probably get torn down 
in this street, in Holt Street, there are lots of units being built. Property prices are high and investors are really keen to develop the property so they can make lots of money. And my initial idea was that we could do that as a family, that we could take care of it and invest and develop the property. But my family doesn't feel like they are investors and so we are basically doing what my mother wanted us to do. She said, no, you can't change the air conditioning or the, or the hot water service while I'm alive. Once I'm gone, you can do whatever you like, tear it down and at least you'll have some money. Sell it, tear it down, whatever. So, dear Holly, every brick was laid by my father with the help of his brother, my uncle. You can see here it's got four bedrooms, two bathrooms, room for two cars. We used to park one car here in the front. And there's the garage at the back and you can actually park two or three cars here in the driveway at the moment. Who knows what the developers will do with it. 986 square metres is the property. When I was growing up, it was called Deer Park and we started calling it Deer Park East because we were not really in Deer Park, but further east. And then, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago, it was renamed, relabeled R Deer. And that area is between a couple of creeks and that's how they developed and identified the naming of the area. So why does it not move? It's not the last photo, I'm sure it's not. Okay, maybe. So if I close the album, do you see the whole photo? Oh, okay. I had other photos. Oh, okay. This album was the front, so I don't know now whether you see my whole album still because I actually only shared the the um, the photo of the the front. The, uh, the okay, so I'm going to stop share just in case I don't know what's going. I told you, learning by doing, right? So I've had the situation sometimes when I want to share a screen. Um, so I'm going to uh, okay go through to do to do so okay it's 12 minutes it's a bit longer than than what I planned but I did actually want to go so now I don't know stop. <laughs> I probably should have stopped I probably should have stopped I'm going to um, go to the photos of the house done by the realtor right starting here okay so um, share the screen, uh, screen number two, share. So this is a photo of the area. So this is the front of the house. This is the street. This is my mum's room. This is the living room. This part was built onto the back and this is the games room at the very back. This is the garage. And this is a carport that was built in front of the garage. This is a inner courtyard and we've got a larger garden than most other properties because the 22.9 meter length is actually a block and a half. The neighbors had three blocks and they divided it in half and we got one and a half blocks each. So that's that. And this is now the living room. So what I wanted, what I was planning to do was take you through the whole house when it was alive. Dear Holly, everything has been emptied out. And this is the living room, dining room. This is the kitchen. This is mum's bedroom. This is the living room looking in the other direction. This was my room, which is now called Eric's room. And this is the games room at the back, the bathroom. And from the backyard, that's the fig tree. So this must have been the walnut tree. And that's the courtyard. And that was full of, there was a mulberry bush here and um, a wax plant here, lots of cacti, a blue tongue lizard under here, all being cleared out, ready for sale. And this is the location of the property. And that's it. I'm going to stop the share now. That's enough for me today. And I'm going to continue recording and you, I'll, you can watch it tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.